So last week just whizzed by. Sorry, flew by. We had hearings, protest hearings, but then a leak. It is shocking. Classified documents presented last week to President-elect Donald Trump, including allegations that Russian operatives claim to have been compromising personal and financial information about him. Mm, thanks, Don. Now, there's stuff in this dossier we can't get into, especially if you have children in the room. It's why I hate children. <laughs> they ruin everything. The summary claims Russia has compromising info on Trump, which involved kinky sex with bodily fluids, none of which I've ever participated in, including that time in Berlin when I was a struggling model being passed around like an hors d'oeuvre at leather clubs. I was broke. BuzzFeed's defense, since reporters already saw this stuff, why can't you? Holding it in would be criminal because BuzzFeed are such hard-hitting journalists. Yeah, right, right. Go to BuzzFeed's homepage. You find so many examples of fine reporting like these. Selena Gomez posed kind of nude, and it's pretty hot. <laughs> Twelve amazingly delicious ways to eat more mango. It's a fruit. Nineteen practically impossible questions for every Kardashian fan. You must admire the bravery in their pursuit of truth about mango. So in a tribute to BuzzFeed's brilliant method of framing garbage into stories, here are seven reasons why BuzzFeed should not have run the dossier. Number one, none of it was verified because fact-checking is hard and BuzzFeed is too busy finding pictures of melons that look like Kim Kardashian's ass. <laughs> Two, it was opposition research, not intel, meaning it was meant to be titillating, like a BuzzFeed article featuring melons that look like Kim Kardashian's ass. <laughs> Number three, the disinformation had been around forever and no one touched it. It was like the last hot dog at 7-Eleven. <laughs> if you eat it, you own it. <laughs> and you'll probably crap your pants after. Number four, the idea that Trump would have hookers defile a bed because President Obama slept in it, that sounds like a fever dream written by Sean Penn on a mescaline bender. <laughs> Seriously, if you believe that, you also believe Bill Clinton is faithful and Lena Dunham is talented. <laughs> Number five. Yeah. Number five, BuzzFeed never ever would have published this if it were about Obama. Number six. BuzzFeed never ever would have published this if it were about Obama. <laughs> Number seven, BuzzFeed never would have published this if it were about Obama. I, uh, I needed to get to seven, but I ran out at number five. But it's true. Could you imagine any outlet running this smut about our adorable lollipop-coated ray of sunshine that is President Obama? Hell no, you'd lose your job, reputation, and friends. You'd be lower than Anthony Weiner's scrotum. <laughs> now, this is not to dismiss Russia's efforts. Gathering smut on people is their thing. You might very well have stuff on Trump. I'd be shocked if they didn't. They have stuff on all of us, including me. <laughs> it was back when I was in shape. See, Russians have their fingers in everything. How else can you explain what happened? And this really, 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 really happened on MSNBC on Thursday. You hear General Mattis today, Mike Pompeo, the CIA director, almost swearing that they're going to be hardliners on Russia, 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 on
adorable kittens purses coffee mugs with pictures of her on them. Carrie Keegan, host of Bravo After Hours, and she's got a great new book called Everybody Curses, I Swear. The air freshener in his car is an actual pine tree. <laughs> DNA wrestler and Fox News contributor Tyrus. <laughs> And even when she's walking on sunshine, she complains about burned feet. National Review reporter and Fox News contributor, Catherine Tim. All right, Anthony. Greg. My favorite part of this whole scandal or not scandal is that you keep get, getting to say the word dossier. Yeah, yeah. It's like an old spy movie. <laughs> exactly. But a little wetter. Yes. I mean, what, <laughs> <laughs> what would you call this movie if it were a Bond film? Oh, my God. The um, the spy who came in from the um... bathroom. Yes, very good. Thank you. Whew, I was hanging out there. I know. I thought you might say Golden Eye, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, that's a good one too. <laughs> what? All right, <laughs> Carrie. I, I have to say that I think that uh, President-elect Trump's. Um, Explanations for dismissing this were so sound. The fact that he said he's a germaphobe and that there are uh, there are cameras in every room. I thought that was smart because it made sense, right? What? <laughs> sure. Yes. yes, that's my defense every time. Yes. You guys have seen those leaked tapes, right? Yes. It's scary what they can find on you now. Yeah. What do you make of these developments? I, I, it's all fascinating. Mm -hmm. This whole thing is really fun to watch. It, it like every time he opens his mouth, it's just it gets more and more interesting. Yes. I, I think it's going to be a really fun four years. I think it really is. It, or sorry, eight years. <laughs> because there's no way after after. After Tyrus, after just one year of this, we're going to say this is the greatest thing ever. It's going to be 16 years, probably. <laughs> and wow, somebody has something on Donald Trump. I have something on Donald Trump. <laughs> Everybody in here has got something on Donald Trump. And he says the same thing every time. Kiss my ass. He don't care. <laughs> he goes, what else you got? He probably threw the sheet back at the FBI. That's it? That's all you got? <laughs> All right, Kat, would you have, if you were running BuzzFeed, would you have run this dossier because it was being passed around, everybody could see it, uh, the reporters and politicians see it, would that have been an excuse? No. No? Uh, people have seen it. Even, don't publish something if while you're publishing it, you're saying, there are serious, uh, serious, serious reasons to doubt that this is actually true. <laughs> they thought it was funny, but it doesn't really matter. Even if it were true, I still don't think people would care that much. Right. Because when Trump was running, the people who opposed him were saying, he's Hitler. Yeah. So when people are concerned about you being Hitler, you liking to watch people really isn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's interesting when you have people applaud over something like that. <laughs> Anthony, okay. Yeah. You know what I love about the BuzzFeed thing is the transparency excuse. We ran this to be transparent. No, they ran it because it was interesting. It's like when we, d we did the Anthony Weiner story. We didn't do it because it was about politics. Right. We did it because it, it was... We wanted to say Weiner on TV as much as possible. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's exactly. A, it's a titillating story. It's yep. interesting. It's wacky. It's like an urban legend. You want them to be true. Yes. Everyone wants this to be true, but let's be real. Come I'm on. I'm okay with yeah. it not being true. I'm cool too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, it's no. like the Richard Gere story that everybody right. heard, but there's no documentation of it, at least that you can find. Because I've been looking. Gerbil right testimony. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be a hearing next week yeah. on that. <laughs> No, but there are so many flaws in this. The, thing, the one thing that blows my mind is in this dossier, they talked about a Michael Cohen, I guess, meeting with Russians or something in Prague, and they didn't stop to think, okay, they go, that's Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen. No, there's probably 100,000 Michael Cohens in the world. My lawyer, I, doctor, and accountant are all Michael Cohens. <laughs> There is a little bit of hypocrisy here we have to point out, that even though BuzzFeed is trafficking in this rumor and innuendo, so did Trump. I mean, let's be honest, oh, yeah. National Enquirer was on his side the entire time publishing weird, weird stuff about But that Hillary. was all true. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, and also, I mean, he did the birtherism and stuff like that. So what's good for the goose is good for the gander. However, um, I still think it's hilarious. Yes. So. It will go down as hilarious. It will go down <laughs> as <laughs> hilarious. By the way, um, uh, do we have time for... Uh, Let's show up uh, uh, just to welcome uh, Ms. Keegan to the show. I think this is the first oh, time you've been oh, on our no. show, right? Don't don't pinpoint me now. No, I'm no, 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 no. <laughs> I think we have. Uh, it's uh, the uh, first time I've been here since you have an audience. I know. Is that exciting? It's really cool. You guys are awesome. <laughs>
And on that note, you compliment our show. I shall compliment your recent appearance on The Apprentice. Oh, no. Carrie, you terminated. Now, get to the chopper. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. that is sorry. the strangest thing to say. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this, this like a scene, a wood chipper for the scene from Fargo? <laughs> that's, the, that's the catchphrase? Yes, yeah, get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. I love the, but also I love their faces now. They're just all, everybody's like this. It's almost as like you got the death penalty. Well, the two of them were crying in the scene before. I was the only one like, oh my God, you what's won. happening? You know why you won? Everybody on The Apprentice got paid the same, but you worked for two days. They are still working. And it's the worst <laughs> catchphrase. <laughs> yes. It's from the movie. It's, but this is the one movie, Commando? You know, All the catchphrases? What do you yeah. want him to say? Your clothes, Command? get them to me now. That because that movie's not in circulation anymore? He You're did terminated? try Hasta La Vista. He did do um, uh, You Won't Be Back. Yes. He did a lot of Ooh. different ones. He doesn't have the same writer yeah. anymore. Wait, Clearly. His, his, hair is, his hair is not looking good either. Get to the chopper. <laughs> like, nah, that's going to go far.